I've got a couple of Surface Pro 4s here. Um, over the past couple days, uh, these are pretty new. They just came out a couple weeks ago. Um, this is December now. Um, but the surfaces that we have, we've noticed some issues with the battery, uh, especially while it's in sleep. And this is pretty popular on the internet um, about other people having these issues with their battery. And kind of what we experience is when the, the surface is in sleep mode, uh, the battery continues to drain at a pretty steady pace, um, even though there's nothing going on in the background um, that we know of. I mean, it's sleeping. It should be basically in a low power state. Um, but if we leave this in sleep mode for 12 hours or so, the battery is basically uh, depleted to about 50%. So I've got two surfaces here and just kind of wanted to show you some other things we noticed as well. Um, I did call Microsoft today and they had me remove the uh, battery driver uh, reboot it and see if that would help. I've also tried putting some of the latest firmware on it. So this currently has the December 2nd firmware um, on one of these. The other one's uh, probably the November update. Um, but anyways, the thing that I noticed is that uh, even in sleep mode, the temperature um, is quite different on the one that's in sleep and then the other one is um, actually powered off. So basically what we're going to do here is um, I've got a uh, infrared thermometer and so I have this one's been off for um, I don't know a couple hours um, this one's been in sleep for a few hours as well and so what we're going to do is just take a look at the temperature and temperature on this one is uh, about 73 and if we look at the my desk here it's right about 72 and a half um, so it's, it's relatively about the same temperature. Uh, it depends on where you point it at in here. So yeah, it's about the same temperature. Uh, if we look over on this one here, and we can see that it's running at least, uh, you know, three to four degrees hotter. So 73.7 and 76.1. I've seen this even get a little warmer. Yeah, there we go, up to uh, like 77, 78. Um, so quite a bit different, uh, and so that's on the front, and if we flip this over, and I put it on these um, boxes so that it, the uh, desk temperature wasn't bothering it too much, uh, changing the temperature at all, so I just wanted to lift it up a little bit. So if we flip these over and do the temperature read on the back, I'm going to actually flip the, uh, hold on, let me flip the case over, sorry about this, and flip these open. So I've um, got them opened up, and I'm going to check the temperature on these as well. So if we check down here, we're at 75, 76, 76, and then up top, we're about 78, 78.2, 78.4, 78.8. So getting close to 79 degrees on the surface over here, we're at 73.5 still. Uh, 73.5 so you can see even in this mode we are a couple degrees warmer um, which concerns me uh, the, the battery here obviously is getting cut down pretty fast um, now there's some reports that they can run um, I'm gonna stare at my face all day um, there's a couple reports that can be ran so I'm going to turn this one on uh, let me punch in my pin number here, <coughs> get this booted up. All right, so um, one of the things they recommended doing was running a power report. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, yeah. So there's a command utility. Um, let me prop this way up. Maybe this will help a little bit more there. A little shiny. That kind of sucks. It's focusing on me. Sorry about this video. This sucks. All right. So here we go. Go ahead and punch uh, the command prompt in, which is uh, power cfg slash battery report. 
should have. Spell it right. All right, so save file to uh, the Windows folder. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Uh, I've actually got an old one here, but I'm going to pull up the new one, which is under C Windows. System 32, and then this battery report here. Um, so we can see I'm running, there's the OS build on here, and um, basically it's showing the battery capacity. And if we come down here, we can see that I had charged it. Um, Look in here, I had chargers 100%. Uh, had it open for a little bit. Um, and then basically, so from 1326 to 1431, uh, it's gone from 99 to 93% just within that time. So just over an hour, um, I've lost, you know, 6% of the battery already in an hour. So you know, multiply that out and you're losing a lot of battery over the period of uh, a night or a day. Um, it also has this little chart, I'll expand this. Um, so here, uh, this little graph right here shows basically, this is the first little one there, so I was letting it run uh, in standby mode, and then I charged it, and then um, I had it open for a little bit, and then I put it in standby again. So this last little section here is similar to the other one. Um, if we look back at some of these other reports, this was, uh, again, I've got too much going on here. So that graph right there is showing, uh, basically, that's what happens in standby. It's just a consistent uh, shift going down. So that's the report there. Um, other than that, um, had the same issues the past couple days. I've tried updating the software. Um, still, still having an issue. So, I don't know if you want to comment on the video what other people are having the same issue. So, Microsoft is aware of the issue. They're, you know, reporting that a lot of the forums mentioned that um, they're working on an update. Um, but I had the issue the other day where I took it out of my pack. It had probably been in there for about four hours, and it was actually hot. Um, and I was surprised, so I hurried up and had to shut it off. Um, but that's my concern with this, is that you know people are going to put this in standby, and they're going to um, put it in their bags, and over time that that small amount of heat is actually going to increase and be compounded. Um, so here we go. Of course, we had it open for a second, but uh, yeah, so it's increased a little bit in temperature, um, probably mainly because the screen was on, but. That's the issue. Um, hopefully Microsoft will do something about it. Uh, it's draining the battery. Again, I would imagine within a day it would be dead. I actually haven't let it do that yet. But uh, one thing I did try was switching out the um, video drivers. I had read on a forum to change it to a September video driver. Uh, I tried that. Uh, it still hasn't worked. So hopefully they'll get something working here soon. Um, so in the meantime, what I do is I just put it into uh, hibernate mode. Um, so like after, you know, after 30 minutes or so, it'll go from sleep to hibernate. So, uh, yep, just comment on the video. Hopefully we can get uh, this fixed soon.